shut your mouth Boy, I think you know who run this house oh, I, I, I still can feel this thing No need to second guess me Can't nobody love you Like I'm gonna love you Like a slumber party No one on my ears and I, 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 I We ain't gonna sleep tonight Today, for months in, years in, until he released these girls Can you tell us your name first? My name is Timothy Savage Tim, before you leave the microphone though, can we ask you It's a pretty serious charge to say that your daughter's being held against her will uh, How old is she and what evidence do you have she's being held against her will? My daughter is, right now she's 20 one. Where we had rooms set up for like a hotel for the girls to stay in. And he also had a black room where he had where they do different acts, sexual acts in. And then he had the separate rooms, three separate rooms, a total of four rooms in his house, which uh, they have the all identical like uh, set up. Uh, my daughter is severely brainwashed. She's brainwashed to the point where um, she says anything that he asks her to say. I've been reading the blogs. Everybody's saying that, oh, we're lying. R. Kelly's not this monster. He's not that person. I've always been a fan of R. Kelly from day one. I was always defending him until I got behind closed doors where you have to ask to be, you know, take a bath, permission to shower, uh, to shower, to eat, permission to go from one room to the next. 
he really manipulates your mind because of who he is and his fame. So if it wasn't because of his fame and you're happy because you're with R. Kelly, he wouldn't get away with getting doing the things they want. So as far as these girls, I feel like they've been in so long that they will need help because of the things that he puts in your head and make you believe everybody's against you. Disturbing allegations against R. Kelly. Report in BuzzFeed details allegations the singer is holding six women against their will at his homes. The parents of one of those women spoke out at a press conference Monday. ABC's Gio Benitez here with the details. Good morning, Gio. George, good morning to you. The father of a 21-year-old Georgia woman told cameras yesterday he texted R. Kelly to let my daughter free. As another woman who says she lived at one of his properties also spoke out, saying she had always defended the music superstar until she got behind closed doors. I believe I can fly. R. Kelly has decades worth of hit singles, one of the most successful R&B artists in history, collaborating with some of the world's biggest names in music. But this morning, he's on the defensive, vehemently denying allegations first published in this BuzzFeed article that he's keeping at least six women under so-called cult-like conditions in his luxurious homes in Chicago and Atlanta. The last time I spoke to my parents may have been about a good on and off for about a good six, five months. I haven't really spoken to them because of everything they've been causing problems in my life about saying I've been hostage and being held against my will and stuff like that because it has I'm very heartbroken of what's going on with this situation. Are you with other roommates? Are you free to go from where you are? No. Not, I want to, to go from where you are? No. Not, I want to, to go from where you are? No. Not, I want to. Okay, a hard turn now to some surprising allegations aimed at R. Kelly. Yeah, some families are convinced the singer has their daughters in a cult, and his former entourage is speaking out. Get with a real player, you know what I'm saying? Take you around the world, make love to you in 50 states. R. Kelly has never been shy about being a ladies' man, but now the R&B legend is accused by two families of holding their daughters against their will in a cult. In a cult, the explosive allegations were uncovered by BuzzFeed. Now at 4.30, Chicago music star R. Kelly facing a new round of accusations of sexual misconduct. These explosive allegations come from the parents of several women. The allegations were published today in a BuzzFeed News report. In a story that's new at 4, Eyewitness News reporter Leah Hope spoke with the Chicago reporter who wrote the story. Leah. Tonight, R. Kelly is firing back at disturbing allegations that he's holding women captive in an abusive cult. A BuzzFeed report. My whole life I traveled all over the world and would go to some of the biggest events to meet clients and have sex with them. They were all extremely rich and prominent members of society. Sometimes they would just want to have sex with me and sometimes they'd make me have sex with different people. The man who owns me constantly manipulated me and did horrible things to me. He would make me be a dog, made me eat feces, I was kept in a cage. Sometimes he would electrocute me as punishment. His name is Prince Alwalid bin Talal. In the media, he presents himself as a bridge between East and West. His kingdom holding company resides in this tower, by far the tallest building of Riyadh. The prince is the fifth richest man on earth. 
with $21 billion invested in companies like Apple, Citicorp and Walt Disney. Why are you wearing the abaya? Because I'm um, Saudi Arabia. Ah, you have to wear it even for the program? <laughs> No, but I here, can take it off. But here you have to show that you don't wear the abaya here. Okay, because now here is, you can not wear the abaya here. I cannot wear the abaya. Oh, sure. No, you okay. Can. okay, it's up to me. Hmm? It's up to me? You decide. Okay, I take it off. You can put it here if you want. In here the women don't have to wear abayas. No, inside the system here, just to work free, freely, you, you cannot work with abaya. Abaya will hinder your operation. I discourage to wear the veil inside the office. Very brief one. Uh, and I can ask each one of you your name and your position. She would be, would you like them to be I would love to talk more with the ladies, but they are hesitant. Eventually it is settled. Dina will introduce each member of the palace management and describe her position. I'm Dina Jokdar, the executive assistant of Prince Walid bin Talal and palace manager. She is Noor al Ghassan, Prince Khalid bin Walid palace manager. She's a man al Gahtani, catering manager. She's Fathiya Makhashin, the assistant of catering manager. She is the head department of housekeeping, Jawahir Rueli. She is the assistant of head department of housekeeping, Huda Gahtani. She is the secretary of Prince Al Walid bin Talal Palace. She is my assistant and second, second secretary for Prince Al Walid bin Talal. Going into a fight, I always have tunnel vision. Anything can happen in a fight. That's why you got to prepare all around the board. You got to prepare yourself all around the board. I tend to have these, these blackout moments where I don't remember. I know I was there, but I don't remember actually performing the golf shot. The athlete in the peak performance zone uh, is, is, is really in a, in a kind of a heightened state of awareness uh, and absorbed focus. I get so entrenched on the moment, I guess my subconscious might take over. I don't know what the whole terminology is, but there are many putts or many shots where I don't remember hitting. Knee is real quick. I can parry that, take that knee in. If it's a lazy low hand like that, I can take it down Bruce Lee style. I can hit the ribs. We know he has sore ribs as well. There are many ways I can win this fight. There are many ways I can pain on my opponent and put him away. How will Aldo try? There are many ways I can inflict pain on my opponent and put him away. How will Aldo try to attack Connor? Okay, well Aldo's a very fast guy, and these guys have been wanting to get each other. The big question is, can Aldo even get to Connor McGregor? Somebody that's got the footwork of Connor, the awkward styles constantly is changing between orthodox and a uh, south uh, paw stance. So. If Aldo can any ways I can inflict pain on my opponent and put him away. How will Aldo try? You guys have been wanting to get at each other. The big question is, can Aldo even get to Conor McGregor? Somebody that's got the footwork of Conor, the awkward styles constantly is changing between an orthodox and a uh, south uh, paw stance. So, if Aldo can... Conor McGregor want to fight. Conor McGregor want to fight. And to be honest, when he kept saying that, I really was like, to be honest, I was like, I don't even know who the fuck that is. <laughs> Lloyd wants a boxing match, and I've already said, no problem, get my fucking money, and when you get my money, then we can box in this boxing match, under these set of specific rules that will keep you alive. Floyd better hope he don't run into Connor on the street. Let me tell you what, Connor, not only will Connor kick his ass, he'll kick the shit out of every one of his uh, security guards too, so 100%. One hundred percent. Dana White, I like Dana White, I don't have anything against him. But I can remember Dana White used to hang around me and Jeff Mayweather yes. and carry my bags. Yes. I remember Dana White, Dana White, you know I remember you used to carry my bags. And remember Dana White, I showed you love. 
You did. You had the little bullen, the bullen by, bullen visor mm -hmm. patch. I wore my trunks for you, Dana. Mm -hmm. I always been good to you. But then all of a sudden he cut his head bald, and he's such a tough guy. Uh, he's such a tough guy. It's the N O T O R I O U S. You just lay down slow. Recognize a real dawn when you see one. What's up, New York City? 50 cents, a bitch. You and 50 are two fake money bitches. The f fans can't fight for you. Shut your f mouth. Mother f 21 years. Mother they can't read. I do numbers. I make money. You know my middle name. You owe money. Going into a fight, I always have tunnel vision. Going into any big fight, Floyd Mayweather always had tunnel vision. Going into any big fight, I always got tunnel vision. I don't hear nothing, I don't see nothing. All I see is my opponent, and all I believe in is win. Floyd offers 15 million. Yes. Then Dana offers 25 million. I'm sitting in my house watching the millions go up. <laughs> like, this is all right. This is all right.